Hi, so I got a call today from someone who had a question about um, their business. Um, the bit of information that I was able to capture was that they share a location. Um, they use the same name for their business or a single name at that location. However, they are completely separate entities. They have separate EIN numbers and they operate separately. They have separate clients and all of their information is maintained separately. And the question was, how should they account for that? Well, in most cases, if you have completely separate EINs, then you should have completely separate bank accounts, which means expenses that are for each of your individual companies, then you are paying those expenses separately. Income that you guys are invoicing for your individual clients should be being deposited and invoiced separately. If that is the case, then it's pretty clean because you're able to track your transactions separately regardless of the fact that you guys are sharing space. However, with regard to the space, what you'll want to do is you'll want to look at all of the shared expenses. So if that is rent, utilities, insurance, um, if you have certain equipment that's shared, uh, certain monthly fees like water service or things like that that you might have in an office. Um, if you're sharing those expenses, then what you'll want to do is compile those expenses for the entire year and split those right down the middle. And that way you each are getting the deduction for the portion of the expense that you are paying and that you are responsible for. Now, without knowing a little bit more detail about the type of entity you are, I'm assuming you're probably either an LLC or a sole proprietorship. Um, in either of those cases, then you would each report your income and expenses on your individual tax returns. Um, Schedule C in most cases, if it's an if it's an LLC with an S corp election, of course you'll have the 1120S as a separate business return. But you guys will individually report your businesses completely separate and pay the respective taxes that are due on those businesses completely separate. Um, with regard to what you need to make sure that you maintain, you want to make sure that you maintain all of the records for any expenses. If you have leases and you are both on the lease, then you both should have a copy of that lease. And then it should show, you know, and then it would show that um, you both are responsible for that lease. So, you know, claiming 50% of those expenses, if you have to justify that with the IRS is going to be easy enough to do. If only one of you is on the lease, then that is fine. Um, as long as as you keep a paper trail of the fact that you're paying half and the other person is paying half on that on that lease. Um, and especially if you're paying directly to the landlord, then that's going to be easy enough because you're going to have the checks to support that. If you if one of you is on the lease and the other one is paying that person and so that person is paying the full rent, then what you'll want to do is on the checks that you're writing to that person, um, you're going to want to put rent because basically you're subletting or rent from the person who is responsible for the lease. So that's how that is set up. If you have more specific questions or you need to come in or do a video consult so that we can go into specifics for your business, definitely give me a call back um, or uh, send me a request through the website and I'd be happy to walk you through that and we can um, get some forms and some process set up processes set up specifically for your business. Otherwise, hopefully this general um, explanation will be helpful to you. Good luck and oh my god how exciting it is to get going on a new business and I wish you the best of luck and there's plenty out there so go for it. Have a good day. Bye bye. If you if this information was useful please like share and subscribe as always. Thank you. Bye bye.